Did you protect me from that cow? Huh? Did you protect me from that cow? I'm okay. I'm okay. What's up, guys? I am Michael McAnally, and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Good morning. Day 47. It's about 6.45 in the morning. Um, about to pack up my tent, eat my honey bun. And we'll get this day started. Leo, come here. Leo, come. We had a, a morning visitor this morning. Um, a cow just walked through. Leo wasn't quite sure what to do with that, but he went into protect mode and uh, made the cow go up the hill. I was trying to film it. Leo, sit. 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 I'm going to get you some water now. Leo, come here. Leo, come here. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Let the cow go by. We're gonna let the cow go by. Good morning, Mr. Cow. We have another visitor. He's a little more, more curious than the last one. Hey, it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. I know, I'm okay. The cow's not gonna hurt me. The cow's not gonna hurt me. Good morning, Mr. Cow. We're gonna get our stuff and head out. <laughs> All right, we've already had a pretty exciting morning with the, uh, the cows coming through camp as I was getting packed up. Um, we camped right here under the kefir oak. So boom, that big old giant tree. It's starting to lose some branches. Not looking healthy. I don't know if it's going to be here forever for uh, for all the hikers to always see. Because it looks like it's starting to rot out. So that's pretty sad. But alright, we're going to get on trail for the day. And uh, I think we got 20 miles planned for today. 20, something like that. And uh, but I still have to find cell phone signal and I still have to find um, well, once I get cell phone signal, I still have to find a shuttle to get a resupply. So, those are the missions today. There's our friends, they're all at the top of the hill. There, apparently, that little section where the kefir oak is is a section for them to back to uh, pass through to get to this pasture. So they're up there grazing on a hill. Good morning, cows. We had also one following us up the trail behind us there. Pretty funny. Man, with those cows this morning, I was just thinking, man, of all the different animal encounters that I've got to have on this trip. You know, I've seen deer, chipmunks, squirrels, uh, the alpacas. The Grayson Highlands horses, now cows in the morning. When am I going to get my black bear encounter? I mean, I don't want to have like a confrontation. I just want to have like a, an observational encounter, you know what I mean? Maybe I see them off in the distance or sitting up in a tree. Uh, you know, just walking across the path. I've spent so many hours in these woods. And so many people get that black bear experience. And I, I haven't gotten mine yet. And I've been doing this since 2020 and still have not yet to see a bear in the wild on trail. It's crazy. I know they're out here. And I know most people don't want to see them, but I do. I want to have a black bear experience. It says I don't want it to be a confrontation. I don't want it to be a, a scary thing. I'm not scared of a black bear. Most of them are very scared of you and they'll run away. Unless you come between a mom and her cubs. But... I just want to have a black bear experience. You know what I'm saying? Is that too much to ask? All right, we got like, I don't know, 1,500 more miles that we need to make this happen. So if somebody knows somebody who knows a black bear, tell them to push them into my path or have them walk my way. I just want to observe them from a safe and healthy distance and just watch them and their majesty in the woods. There's a squirrel. Leo didn't see it. <laughs> it's funny how Leo chases when I have them out in front of me. He'll chase imaginary squirrels. I mean, like, literally there's nothing there. 
but he sprints off like there is. And when actual squirrels cross the path and stuff like that, he doesn't even see them half the time. I see them, but he doesn't. It's hilarious. All right, so we're gonna, we, I finally got my shuttle driver arranged. They're gonna meet me at 12 o'clock. So I got 12 o'clock to get these 10 miles done. Well, it's less than 10 miles now because I've already been walking for a while, but uh, 12 o'clock shuttle drivers are gonna pick me up. I'm not sure when the, the uh, solar eclipse is gonna, or the eclipse is not solar, I think it's lunar eclipse is gonna happen. But I wanna make sure that I get all that stuff done and get back on trail so I can get a shot of that from up in the mountains. That will be really cool. But if it happens, if it happens, it, if it doesn't, then I mean, it is what it is. I've, I've got to get dog food for Leo and I've got to get a couple of days of food for me to get to Delville. So, all right, we're gonna push these miles. There is some, uh, some cool features today, some ledges, some views. Uh, like that so we're gonna definitely show you guys when we get there um, we should be coming up on the first shelter and I'll uh, show you guys that because I'm gonna stop there for a preview break so lots of things to see and do today I so said we're gonna try to get in over 20 miles um, our goal is Daleville by Wednesday that's gonna push us through most of the Triple Crown on Tuesday so I'll be able to do Dragon's Tooth and McAfee Knob on Tuesday and please, please, please let the weather hold out. Uh, just for those two. If it's raining at Tinker Cliffs, I'll take two out of the three. But I so desperately want my, my, you know, once in a lifetime picture through hiking at McAfee Knob, like everybody does. So you guys be praying for the right weather for me. Uh, you won't see this until after, but. But I'm hoping that all the prayers are, are still working for me because I've had beautiful weather up to now. All right, we're going to keep on trucking, get these miles in. something called Bruiser's Knobs Cairn. Don't you see that sky behind me? It's just beautiful. It's just lit up. It's kind of a cloudy day. Had a little bit of a sprinkle this morning. It wasn't supposed to rain, but the meteorologists never get it right. So I'm hoping they're wrong tomorrow. Bruiser's Knob Cairns. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be, but I'm going to show it to you when we get there. Well, cairns are typically piles of rock. So, I guess <laughs> these are the Bruiser's Knob cairns. Got a big pile over here. That's the biggest pile right there. I knew what cairns were, but I wasn't quite sure why they would be up here like this. But somebody just made these piles of rocks and called it a feature. Got some more on this side. Some over here. But yep, yeah, there's bruisers, knobs, and cairns. All right. I guess they continue for a little while. I see a, a few of them up ahead. All right, I just figured out what we're gonna do for the lunar eclipse. So um, I'm getting off trail at 12 o'clock. Um, it says everything kind of starts around 12.15, but the peak is gonna be 3.14. So I'll actually have three hours. So if I can get everything I need and get back on trail, um, I should get a good shot at filming the lunar eclipse. 
which will be really cool. So that is the plan. That is the goal. Uh, solar eclipse. Why well, keep saying lunar? I don't know. I think it's a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Yeah. The moon is going to pass in front of the sun. All right. So that's the plan. Um, now I just got to get to where I'm supposed to be at 12 o'clock. That's what time I gave them. I told them 12 o'clock. So uh, it's nine o'clock now. It gives me ooh, three hours to make about a little over eight or a little under eight miles. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move fast. All right, get these miles in. to the uh, first view of the day you guys check it out you got your double mountain ridge back there with the valley down below absolutely beautiful to the ledges uh, this is the other like open view area here same beautiful view um, we're climbing on these side slanted rocks like this uh, through this area here Leo come and you can see Leo's trying not to go sideways on here which I'm about to go myself but Leo back back hey Leo uh, he's growing impatient with the speed that I'm going but I have to be careful because <laughs> that's the way this is the trail slanted slanted rock This whole little section here. Yeah. What an amazing view the entire time. Worth a little discomfort on the angles. still get to look at that all right I'm trying to do this with the camera on
dash on the stone there. All right, that looks like the end of the ledges. Let's take a look at this view one more time. Beautiful. here Eastern Continental Divide all right we are making our way down the mountain here we got a couple miles to uh, get to the road where the shuttle's gonna meet us at so I'm trying to make this descent rather quick we're right on time um, I gave them a time of 12 o'clock uh, that was four hours ten miles two and a half miles an hour no problem I mean that's about what my average is so I didn't have to like walk fast or anything i know there's i go faster on downhills um obviously with those ledges and stuff we had to be careful and traverse those but it says my average is two and a half miles so unless it's just like 10 miles of just nothing but traversing the ledges but all right we're gonna make our way down there and we're gonna jump in the shuttle and figure out the whole resupply situation where there is to go to resupply uh, what the options are it's my first time having to do this. Um, it's probably going to be a little overwhelming having to make decisions and figuring out. They're going to have a box for me um, tomorrow sometime. And I'm thinking about paying them to shuttle that box to Daleville for me. So if I can do that, then I really just need enough food to get us to Daleville. Because that has a four day in it. And then... I gotta figure out the next drop from there so that my wife knows where to mail a box today. So that's what the plan is for right now. Alright, looks like there's gonna be a little bit of rock scrambly coming down this mountain, but I did have this beautiful view behind me as I was traversing, so I wanted to share that with you as well. Alright, we're gonna make it our way down this mountain. I'm gonna put this camera away so I can be safe. to the road seven minutes early 1153 1154 I mean yeah 1153 so let's see if my rides here there's a couple cars here I don't know if they're my ride or not but we'll find out Hello. Hey. You're here to pick up. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. You're here to pick me up. Yeah, man. I got you, brother. All right. Fantastic. All right. Resupply is completed. Now I probably have way too much stuff in my bag. <laughs> but um, I, I, I got to the store and just, you know, I got some bars. I got some, some, some different breakfast, op breakfast options. Um, they didn't have jumbo cinnamon honey buns, so... I got some Nutella and some raisin bread. Um, I was able to get a Philly cheesesteak sandwich at a local shop there. So I had that and french fries for lunch. I grabbed a bag of cookies and was eating those. Downed a couple Gatorades and oh, I'm feeling really full right now. Really, really full. Oof. But anyway, we're back out on trail now. Um, we got enough food to get us to um daleville for sure 
100%. Uh, probably got way too much food, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I got some extra snacks and stuff that I normally wouldn't even get, but when you're in the store, you just have to buy whatever options that they have. That's the reason why it's nice when my wife has it and sorts it for me because then I only have what I need and not any extra. So now I've got extra. So I might be snacking a little bit more over the next few days, uh, which might not be a bad thing because it'll help me keep, keep on weight, which I've been losing a lot of. So, all right, we're going to get these the mass. I think we got nine more miles today. <clears throat> Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, we already did 10. We knocked out 10 before 12. It's uh, before 2 o'clock right now. So um, that was a, about a two-hour detour. Uh, it still should put us at camp if we can get these last ones knocked out with the same uh, vigor that we did this morning. We should be able to get to camp around 6 o'clock tonight, if not 7. I'm okay with. Uh, last night we walked literally until 8 o'clock. So... Um, trying to, yeah, I've had a, somebody ask me what this is in my hand all the time. Guys, this is the, uh, the camera protector. So when I'm not using the camera, it's, uh, uh, locked into this to protect the gimbal and it's got the, the mic and stuff on there if I need to use that. But so when I pull the camera out, I typically have that in my hand. All right. I think we're going to have to cross the waters here. Um, we got another bridge out, so water crossing means taking our shoes off and finding the safest place to cross. So I got somebody else here that we're going to figure it out together. Ooh, that's a pretty fast spot. Yeah, I'm Probably over there. Over there? Probably. It's deep right here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to go over there into a more shallow spot to, to make the crossing. Uh, looks like there's some steps over there, too. Come on, up, 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 up. All right, creek has been safely crossed. I carried Leo across because that one was a little bit deeper than the last one. It was probably about knee deep on me because uh, I pulled my pants all the way up and still got the bottom of them wet above my knees. So I carried him across uh, his pack and all. <laughs> so he, he found that very interesting for me to pick him up and carry him. I don't think I've ever done it like that, but uh, the last one was like ankle deep, so you know, I let him cross it because his fur will dry out rather quickly. But that one was a little bit deeper, so it required a little bit more. So I didn't film it because I, I had to cross it obviously uh, with him and then come back across and get my stuff after I've done that. So I have to cross it twice well, you know, three times because I have to come across once, go back and get my stuff, and then come across again. But anyway, we're safely across. And we're back on trail. I'm going to get the rest of this day underneath us. We've got about an hour until the eclipse happens. But it's the clouds haven't cleared out. I haven't seen the sun all day. So I don't know if we're going to get any footage of the eclipse other than it just getting dark. I think that's all that's going to typically happen if we don't are unable to see the sun because of clouds. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get any good footage of the eclipse but i'll try i'll see if anything does happen i definitely will film it it would be pretty cool to see here in the mountains all right we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these miles in and i'll show you guys stuff as we come along them away from the eclipse or at least the biggest part of it for us I don't think I'm gonna be able to see any of it as a matter of fact it's even sprinkled on us a couple times so too many clouds to see the Sun so I'm afraid it's just gonna get a little dark during it that's a shame I really wanted to see it not with my eyes because I don't have anything to block it but with the camera I wanted to film it be able to watch it after I filmed it but unfortunately 
that's not gonna happen today. So we're just gonna keep pushing these miles. This is the last big climb of the day. It's a couple miles. We're about halfway into it probably. Still pushing uphill. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on pushing. All right, it's 314 right now and it just looks like it's dusk I mean it's about all we got the clouds are covering the Sun and here we only got I think 84 or 88 percent totality as far as the coverage of the moon in front of the Sun so we weren't in the direct path but this is it this is the lunar eclipse or the solar eclipse anti-climatic but really wish I could have gotten an open view of the sky during this it would have been really cool but way too cloudy today all right I'll finish this climb all right guys we come up on the Audi Leon Murphy Memorial here it's quite the crowd. <laughs> it's uh got the flag flying here big old memorial statue here Got the Scotsman and bugs up here. What's this over here? Oh. Just an overlook. All right. Cool beans. Now it's time to keep on hiking, get this rain gear back off again. All right, so this is what hiking in the bubble is like, except we're not in the bubble, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> everybody thinks this is what it is, where everybody's just like hiking in a row. Just a whole row of people. <laughs> that group of uh, kids that I just showed you ahead of me, I've been hiking around them since Woods Hole. Uh, great group of, of young guys and girls. Um, <clears throat> most of them just out of college. Uh, so, but they're really nice, really respectful. Great group of, you know, it's, they got their own little tramley going. There's like six of them total. Um, so, but uh, they've been real fun to kind of be in and around. I, I get up early in the morning, so normally I, I pass them in the morning, uh, and then they they will pass me in the afternoon. Is the way that it normally works. Yesterday they stopped after me, but I passed them this morning when I was hiking up on the ridge, and then I stopped and got my resupply, so that allowed them to catch up when I was getting dropped off from my resupply. They all were coming out of the woods because they didn't get out of camp till like 9 30 10 o'clock so not my style i'm normally up and on trail 6 30 7 o'clock at, at the latest so but anyway i just wanted to let you guys know who they were uh I haven't actually camped with them at a at a, a site other than woods hole uh, i mean the, the hostel itself but tyler pushed on ahead <clears throat> he went to the Four Pines Hostel. The Four Pines Hostel is the one that Leo couldn't be at because they have an aggressive dog. Um, so that wasn't an option for me. But I'll tell you this, Four Pines has been super, super helpful. They're the ones that sent the shuttle driver out to get me. And the shuttle driver happened to be a guy that I met when I was in Georgia. He was uh, who, uh, when I was at, before I even started the trail, the day before I started the trail, well, I stopped in to see fresh ground at the Blood Mountain Cabins. Um, I met him there. And so, yeah, he was really cool and uh, very helpful in getting me everything that I needed to uh, 
probably I got probably more than I needed. But for for dinner tonight, I do have a fresh deli sandwich. So I did pack that out. Um, I have a whole lot different options than I normally get uh, because I'm normally not shopping for myself. And so I'd probably grab too many things, but I wanted to make sure that I was covered. And by the way, my pack feels I'm covered. So I might have to eat a little extra just to lighten it up, which might not be a bad thing. It says I need to eat a little bit more sometimes. All right, we got about three miles left. Most of it's gonna be downhill. Um, depending upon how crowded the shelter is, we might tent camp or not. So um, I don't know what these guys plan on doing. If they all fill up the shelter, then I'll jump in my tent somewhere. If uh, if the shelter's got spots for me and Leo, we might dive into the shelter. I don't know. We'll see. I really enjoyed being in the tent last night. That was nice. So I do actually sometimes enjoy my tent more than a shelter. Shelter's just easier, and sometimes it's it's fun to just take the easier route. All right, we're gonna get the last few miles in here and uh, wrap up our day. Uh, hopefully with a nice fresh deli sandwich. Hopefully I didn't get smushed too bad in my bag. came up on this open beautiful ridge just wanted to show you guys just a few miles from camp but just wanted to share it with you change of plans coming down the mountain here i came down into the uh the road and there was a trash can that said uh free wi-fi and a place to chill and so 100 yards up the trail so i stopped over here and look what i found doug's house stop and talk to doug he says i can pitch my tent right here on the side of his driveway and that's going to give me wi-fi for tonight so i haven't had wi-fi in a couple days and i could use a, a video upload before i get to daleville so i'm going to take advantage of it and um yeah, I'm going to have some Wi-Fi tonight. So I'm going to set up right here in Doug's driveway. This is my campus spot for tonight. So we're going to get the tent set up and uh, settle down for the night. We were only one mile from the shelter, so and we're 5.6 from Dragon Tooth. So I'm just going to get up early in the morning and uh, and hit it and see if I can't get to Dragon Tooth and McAfee Knob before the rain comes in. We're scheduled rain to be in the afternoon, so... I'm hoping I can get up there and uh, and get that that famous picture standing on McAfee Knob before then. All right, we're gonna get set up and uh, talk to you guys a bit. Let me show y'all what I packed out for dinner tonight. Look at that bad boy right there. Yeah, thing's huge. That's gonna be delicious. All right, guys, we are all set up in the tent for the night. I'm gonna uh, eat my sandwich that I got from the store earlier, and um, and we're gonna call it a night. So uh, tomorrow we got Dragon's Tooth, we got McAfee Knob. So make sure you stay tuned. You do not want to miss out on these things. These are gonna be super, super cool. Hopefully the weather is is perfect. I'm gonna get up early and get up there. Dragon's Tooth is only six miles from here, so I'm gonna get up early and make the push, and uh, see if I can't get up there at a pretty decent time. And then uh, I want to get back at the knob before 12 because the, the, there's a possibility of showers coming in after that. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>